Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today I'll be going over this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. So for the full problem and the solution transcript, you can feel free to check out the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Okay, so the advanced knowledge problem of the week asks you to give us the Laplacian and cylindrical coordinates given the Laplacian and Cartesian coordinates, which I have shown above. It's the partial derivative with a uh, second partial derivative with respect to x, y, and z applied on this function. Um, and this isn't the most exciting problem to do, but I think it's really important either way. Uh, it's very key to know how to be able to transfer between coordinate systems, Cartesian, cylindrical, spherical, etc. And this one's just the cylindrical one, which is easier to do from Cartesian than the spherical one. Uh, so I started by giving you how to transform um, from x, y, z to r, theta, and z. And uh, I will be, for the sake of time, I'll be looking at the transformation of x first, the, uh, the partial derivative of x first. And um, so I, if you carry that out, it looks like this. And I'm already going to go ahead and strike this off because um, z has no dependence on x. Therefore, this is equal to 0. And for starters, all you need to do is evaluate this and then take the second derivative with respect, second partial derivative with respect to x, and then you get your answer. So I have given r in terms of x and y. So take the partial derivative of r with respect to x because we need that as a piece of the puzzle. Uh, take the chain rule. You can put it into terms of r because we have square root of x squared plus y squared, which is equal to r. So uh, theta is a little more tricky, but it's still very doable. Evaluates to this, which simplifies to negative y over y squared plus x squared. You can remake that as negative y over r. OK, so that's all you need for the first derivative, first partial derivative. Uh, so I'm going to rewrite this by plugging in these two. OK, so if we want to take the second partial derivative, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just need to keep track of a lot of product rules and things like that. But if you do that correctly, it should end up pretty, uh, I wouldn't say simple, but straightforward. OK, so we get a bunch of terms, but uh, we also have to deal with another set of uh, partial with respect to x's of um, these partial of f with respect to r and partial of f with respect to theta. We're going to repeat the same process as we did before. We're going to cross out the uh, partial of z with respect to x as before. So it's going to look very similar to what we did right here. Um, we also have um, these terms to deal with, uh, partial of respect to x, uh, x over r. Um, as well as y over r squared. But again, these are pretty simple to deal with. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, work everything out for you. OK, so I know that looks like a lot. But if you take a look at um, del squared f, uh, partial of a second partial derivative of f with respect to second partial derivative with respect to uh, y, um, you'll see that there's a lot of cancellation between when you add those terms. And you will have to add those terms because the Laplacian requires it. So after you get done with that, you finish up um, second partial derivative of f with respect to y, um, you'll see that once you add the two and also realize that there is no change in z from the coordinate systems, you'll finally get your Laplacian in cylindrical coordinates. Uh, so after doing all that work, and we have done it in the solution transcript, if you would like to see all of it done out completely, you'll get this. And this is the Laplacian in cylindrical coordinates. Oftentimes, you will see this written as and it is the same thing. It's just that if you do it out, it looks like that. OK, so that's it for this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Thank you so very much for watching. If you would like to see more Advanced Knowledge Problems of the Week, 
you can click right here. Uh, if you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, feel free to click here. And if you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, click here. Um, if you are on a mobile device, you can click an I on the top corner over there, and um, that should give you the same links. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you can you learn to do some math. <laughs>